Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. And today I thought I would share all of the white items that I have in my Pandora collection. And one thing to note is that sometimes over time, Pandora's white enamel can soften and it takes on a bit of a creaminess to it. So I'll include those ones as well. So we'll take a look at all of the white and cream colors that I have and let's get started right away. So we'll start with this bracelet here. This is one of my Disney bracelet designs and there's only two charms that have a little bit of white creaminess to it. This first one is this teddy bear and it's a European um, charity bear, I wanna say, but, but you can see it's got a little um, eye patch there and it's in white creamy enamel with some polka dots on top. And then over here, I've got Olaf and Olaf says, I like warm hugs. And Pandora does quite a few Olaf charms. There's a few dangles now. So Olaf gets a lot of attention and love from Pandora. In this bracelet here, um, there's a lot of creamy enamel colors. And right in the centerpiece, I believe this one was called Family Tree. It's a two-tone. So you've got the silver on top of this creamy enamel. Sometimes Pandora calls this enamel silver which I really don't understand at all because it's cream, like it's not silver. <laughs> but anyway, so you've got um, a little tiny gold heart and it repeats on both sides. This one has been in the last chance section for a long time. I think people are a little bit turned off by this creamy silver enamel, but I really like it. And then over here, I've got all these wonderful little hearts and it's a two-tone as well. So you've got some gold hearts and it's filled in with that creamy enamel. And I believe that's Mother of Pearl, so I'll leave that out. And then this one here was a limited edition charm. I believe it was a Mother's Day charm from, I can't remember what year, but you've got um, all that creamy enamel, one little gold heart in the center, and it repeats on the other side. For rings, uh, these are the ones that I have that have the white enamel. And so this one here is a stone, and I wanna say it's white agate, but I could be wrong, but I'd have to look into that. This is enamel, and this is a, probably a good example how it has faded to a creaminess over time. It was a little brighter white when it was new. And it's a dome ring, it's super cute. I love this ring. I know it's not fashionable right now to have like the bigger statement rings, but it doesn't matter. You just wear what you like, right? And then here we've got a floral ring. I wear this one a lot in summertime. And you've got the white enamel primrose and then there's a little daisy there. This is silver enamel and this is a great stacking ring. And just because I love the birthday bloom so much, I'm including um, the April ones. So this is a clear April birthday bloom and it's rock crystal and I'm just including it in here because it's as close to white as the birthday blooms have. I have this loose charm here that I can't wait to style with. It's definitely gonna go on a bracelet soon. It has the red and the white enamel and it's hanging on to a gold coin. So you can see the little heart detail there and not so much white from the top of the fish but the bottom of the fish has lots and there is also a red heart. This summer bracelet I've actually shared with you quite a bit in the last few videos, but the Murano's on here do have some white, some of them more than others. Like this one here is probably the one with the most. So it's got a white base and it looks like they applied color on top. And then you can see that this one hardly has any, this one's darker, this one has more white. So I realized when I was pulling out the charms for this video that a lot of my Muranos have white in them. And this one here is one of the animal print Muranos and I've got it on this bracelet, of course. And it's one of the tiger Muranos. I wanna call it the Siberian tiger, but not positive about that. And there's varying degrees, like this one here, you can see it's the Bengal tiger. Um, but there's varying degrees of how much white and how much of that kind of burnt orange you get. And this one actually has a lot of the white in it. And to continue with the Muranos, I've got the Folklore Muranos and they have a white background. And then it's kind of like, to me, it looks like peacock feathers in a way. It's a really unique pattern on it. 
and you've got the blue with the red and the green. It's a very colorful, but yet quiet Murano, if you know what I mean, like it's not really bold. So this is my fall bracelet design and I'm struggling with it a bit. It's definitely a work in progress and it's gonna have quite a few changes to it. This open work white daisy charm was retired really fast and then they released a purple version of it. And it's really pretty. It's got the white daisies going all the way around. My only wish with this charm is that they gave the bugs a little bit more detail. Like maybe foregoing some of the white and giving the ladybugs some red and the bee a little bit of black, like just something to make them stand out a little bit more. In this little baggie here, I have my panda charm and it's got kind of that white cream enamel. Um, sometimes to save space in my jewelry box, I'll end up just kind of taping one of the bags in half and it just kind of makes it a little bit more petite and perfect for the charms. This is my snowman bracelet and I call it that because it has all of the Pandora snowman on here. And on this little button charm, this is so sweet. You've got the snowman, the silver snowflakes in that blue sky. You've got the white enamel for the snow on the ground. And the best part is, is it repeats on both sides because sometimes what Pandora does is they put like the picture on one side and then they put on the opposite side an inscription, but I actually prefer having the picture on both sides. And then moving down the bracelet, I believe there is a creamy white snowman here, and he's got a little smile on his face, a jaunty little cap, and a red scarf. And on the back, it's just plain. And keeping with the winter theme, I have this little cutie here. This is the little heart melter, and he looks like an ice cube to me. He's so sweet. And there is something about this little guy. I just smile when I see him. This is such a happy bracelet, and he is what makes it happy. And I believe these were hand-painted, so everyone looks a little bit different. Some of them are a little bit goofier looking, some a little bit happier looking, but this little guy is so cute. So there he is with this little smile on one side. And on the other side, his smile is a little bit wider and one eye's just a little bit higher up than the other. It's really, really cute. This charm at the end has a little bit of like a, a petite facet to it. And then it's covered in silver. It's so nice. It's very elegant. Um, these were very underused in my collection for a long time, and I still have one as a spare, so this is the other one. It went on to this bracelet here. And over here, I've got one of the white petite facets, and you can see that little bit of blue that's showing through the white. I'm not sure what's going on with this charm or what's happening with it and why those changes are happening. I never was like that when I first purchased them, and I did buy these brand new from the store. So a little bit strange, but this is the one and I put it on my bracelet because I thought, you know, the blue tied in the blue. And these are the other two that I have and they don't have that problem. This one is a little bit more milkier, if you wanna say, and this one's a little bit more clear. It has a little bit more of that pink flash to it. This bracelet here is my fun family bracelet and it mostly has that deep red color and silver obviously, but it does have little touches of white in the top of the hot cocoa. You've got the white whipping cream and there's also white on that candy cane there. Um, there's a little white enamel on the back of the teddy bear here. I think that's his little hood. And over here in this bride and groom charm, so you've got the wedding dress with the white enamel on one side. And there you, you've got a little white enamel for the dress shirt. And right here, this one here is so cute. So this is the Canadian mousse. I love this charm. It's just so playful. And so there's no white enamel at the front. But on the back of the charm, you've got the maple leaf and white enamel. And I think that is it for this bracelet. So just those little pops of white. And this bracelet here is my galaxy theme bracelet. I wear it year round. And these charms here are a good example of Pandora's white enamel turning creamy over time. This one's a lot brighter than this one here. You can see how the difference between the two. 
but it's okay. It doesn't really bother me, but these ones are so pretty. Pandora also came out with a pink version. And some of those little round dots are hearts. So they're kind of snuck in there. I've also got some navy on this bracelet. Um, here is the Saturn of Love. So unique. It's got the cutout heart versus having a CZ heart. And the, of course, you've got the ring going all the way around. This one's changed color on me a little bit as well. I've got my Cosmo Tommy. I just love him. He's a chunky charm. So I put him as a centerpiece on this bracelet. I only have one, actually I'm kind of diverting a little bit, but I only have one of these um, Muranos on this bracelet. This one has the most variation in it of all my Muranos, the Star Galaxy Muranos. It's got little hints of turquoise and some dark brown. And I handpicked this one. I'm super thrilled with it. This little stars button charm has some white enamel in the stars and it repeats on both sides. This one's retired now. And then we've got the friendship star. And so this one is definitely a creamy enamel. So that's why I put it with this pearlescent dreams because I thought they matched well together. And on the back, it says my friend a star. I'm thinking this bracelet's going to become a permanent design. I really like the balance of it. It's just, yeah, it's super fun. So I'm really enjoying this bracelet. This is my spring bracelet design for 2022. And I've got the two daisies here. So you can see the new purple daisy on the left has that brighter white enamel in the center compared to the blue daisy. They're so pretty. I'm perfectly fine with that variation. And that's not enamel, but the Firefly does have a kind of a creamy white, uh, luminescent Murano glass, I think they're calling it. On this end of the bracelet, I've got another one of the open work daisies. And here is my pink pansy with a little bit of white enamel in the center. And this is my blue pansy. So all of the pansies are a little bit different into how much enamel it has and that feathering detail. This one's so pretty. I just love this shade of blue. I'll show you a few more Muranos that have white on them. And this one here is one of the swirl, I believe it's called. And it's that periwinkle with the white. And then also the flowers for you have a little bit of white in the center. It's not so much showing up as white on this blue one, but you can see it on the green. They're all a little bit different. And then on the purple as well. A few more Muranos that have white. I've got this glitter one here, and I wanna say it was called mint glitter, but I could definitely be wrong on that. These older flower Muranos, it's got the green base, white flowers. I have three of those. And then this one is so pretty. It's got the white flowers and a CZ in the center. Uh, for some reason, these ones are hard for me to style, so I do keep trying, um, but eventually they, they get switched out, so I'm not sure why. And then I have two white fascinating Muranos. This one is a little bit chunkier than this one, as you can tell. These are the older candy stripe Muranos, so they do have the white mixed in with the pastel, so I have four of those. And then I've also got some older polka dot Muranos. This one here is quite raised. It's really nice. I've got a design idea in mind for this one. And this Murano here I only have one of, and it's the orange with the white blossoms. This one's so pretty. A few more Muranos. I've got the white version here, and it's got the little bit of a bigger CZ in the center with little bubbles inside. And then next up, I have the white daisy here. It's a spacer and it is still available with Pandora. And I'm not sure whether or not to include this, but it's kind of like the pearlescent radiant hearts. And over here, I've got these older charms here with the white enamel and the petals almost look like they're shaped with hearts. They're a little bit different because you can see the center of the flower here. It's got a little bit more black than this enamel over here. I will be designing a black and white bracelet. Um, so that's definitely coming. So you're gonna see a few of those potential charms on here. And then this one I've already shared the match to and then moving down. Okay, look at this. You guys, isn't this beautiful? We've got onyx and white agate. And so I've got three of each and I'm so excited about this. This is gonna be so fun. So. I have a design in my head and it'll come.
I've also recently shared this bracelet design with you and the Muranos on here are called the Cherry Blossom Muranos and they have kind of like that white creamy base to it. It's very soft, almost like you can almost see pink as well. And then the blossoms of course are a little bit pink. And if you look at the profile of this Murano, you can see how the blossoms are just kind of set into the glass. It's so unique. And then you can tell that little deeper reddish orange there for the center of the flower is the part that you see there. So it's very unique, very pretty. Next up is my Mickey Mouse bracelet and definitely has some little bits of white on here. And to start with is this Murano here. It's the Minnie Mouse with the little bows and long retired, but it's got the white base. This Murano in the center, I'm not sure if those are pink or white hearts. I think they're looking more pink now that I'm looking at them, but they're not a Disney Murano, but they match really well. And then next is the matching Mickey Mouse Murano. So very fortunate to have Minnie and Mickey on this bracelet. And that is all the white on here. On my daughter's bracelet, I have some creamy enamel here and it looks like it's a balloon. It is a balloon because you can see at the base there where, how it's tied and hanging onto the balloon is a little teddy bear and his bunny rabbit. You've got one CZ heart at the top and then on the back, it's just plain. So super cute and I really, really like this on her bracelet. Liked it so much that I picked up this other charm to go with it. And this is the match. So it's the little mice on top of the balloon and you've got one bigger mouse there that's hanging on, going for a little bit of a ride. And then you've got two smaller mice. I don't know if they're the babies or not, but you can see how they're on top there. That little raised detail of the silver. And I thought this was so cute. Uh, my daughter's had many, many hamsters. And uh, so that's what this represents. It's all of her furry little critters in her life. This last bracelet has Pandora shine with white enamel and a white Murano in the center. Um, Pandora doesn't call it Pandora shine anymore. They call it 14 karat gold plated. So it's changed from 18 karat to 14 karat. I'm not sure if the formula's changed. I haven't really looked into that really deep to see if the formula's changed, but these are the older shine charms. A lot of them have enamel as well. And they have been wearing fantastic for me. I have no complaints at all. But anyway, we'll go back to the white pieces. Over here, I think this one was called Primrose. And you've got the white flower with the pink CZ in the center. It's fairly wide and it repeats on both sides. And in the center, I've got one white wavy Murano. I would love to have a pair of these, but I kind of snoozed, they got retired. I didn't react quick enough and they're definitely sold out now. But this is a very elegant Murano and it just has that nice pattern to it going around. And over here is where the other one of the white daisy spacers went. And I put that just to balance off this primrose over here. So thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoy these collection videos from me. I know I really enjoy doing them. It just kind of makes me look at my collection in a little bit of a different way. So I hope that you enjoy it and please leave me a comment below. I love getting your opinion and thoughts on everything that I've shared. So thanks again for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.